Hey guys, it's Luke J with uh, CATI. Welcome back for another week with uh, Luke. Uh, today we're going to be talking about some TPU parts. Uh, just go over uh, a couple parts, uh, show you the, the material itself, uh, and then we'll go into GrabCAD so I can showcase uh, a couple things and show you uh, how these parts are built. All right. All right, let's take a look at the TPU parts here. As you can see, these are very flexible. Uh, this is a couple that we 3D printed. Very strong and very flexible parts. Uh, as you can see, I'm bending this TPU part uh, pretty well, and uh, it's bouncing back, right back to its original shape. Here's the tube with some ribs. Again, very durable, very flexible parts. Um, you know, it's a great material for, for testing, prototyping. Uh, you're not gonna put this in the, into production, but uh, for testing, it's great. So let's take a look at it in uh, GrabCAD. Let's take a look at um part that I'm going to be printing in TPU. I actually showed this part to you guys earlier. Um, you know, I'm, I'm sending this part up this way due to the fact that um, when you look at this part here in the ribs, if I laid it flat, there'd be a lot of stepping. If I'm sending this up, there's not going to be that much stepping and the part's going to come out nicer. Um, if you hit auto orient, it would actually lay it down flat because auto orient is going to be basically taking a look at fastest time uh, to build this part. The other thing that you can kind of see is with, with these uh, parts in TPU 92A, it's going to be high density. You can't change it to solid or anything like that. Um, it's also going to be in 10 thou. Uh, so, so just keep that in mind when, when, you're, when you're thinking about parts that are in TPU 92A. It's a great material for testing. Um, we've had a lot of customers use it for, for door seals just to basically form fit and kind of test uh, their products. So... This is the one thing that I kind of want to show you guys in GrabCAD. Um, you know, uh, the other thing in GrabCAD is pretty good that you can auto orient your parts. If you're in a rush and you're not sure how to orient your parts, you can just click this button here um, and it's going to basically calculate the orientation and put it down the, the way it, it thinks is best. So for, for instance, in this, it would be the fastest way to build it, but this would not be the best way to build it, just so you know. So keep that in mind. All right, thanks a lot for joining. Thanks guys for joining me again. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, let's talk next week. Again, let me know what you guys uh, want to see next. Uh, you know, I've been getting the request. That's why we're looking at TPU today. Uh, so take care.